Stuart Rhodes, the originator, is guilty of seditious conspiracy Rhodes was found guilty for his involvement in the brutal capital attack on January 6 and his unsuccessful attempt to rig the 2020 election. Another member of the extreme right, Kelly Meggs, was also determined to have engaged in seditious conspiracy. Meggs faces up to 20 years in jail, while three other co-defendants were cleared of. Seditious conspiracy but found guilty of other offenses connected to the attack on the Capitol roadways. The jury delivered the shocking verdict late today, finding Stuart Rhodes, the founder of the far right. Oath Keepers and his co-defendant Kelly Meeks of Florida guilty of the unusual charge of seditious conspiracy plotting to block the 900 Capitol riot. The trial lasted two months and ended with three days of jury deliberations. The American peaceful transition of power January 6, during two months of testimony and presentations, prosecutors showed messages and images of the group hatching a plan to arm themselves with tactical gear and to stay guns outside the Washington, D.C., city limits to mobilize if then-President Trump invoked the Insurrection Act. In one message displayed at trial, Rhodes stated that, Shortly after the 2020 election we are planning to mobilize. Each now faces the possibility of 20 years in prison on the seditious conspiracy charge alone. The highest profile person to go on trial in connection. With the attack took the stand in his own defensive trial, continuing to argue that the 2020 election was invalid and that the group was only prepared to defend themselves against left-wing agitators. The Justice Department also claimed that the five defendants helped arrange a military stack formation to breach the Capitol amid the mob roads. The other three defendants were convicted on various federal offenses, such as hindering an official procedure, but were found not guilty of the seditious conspiracy charge. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn was one of the numerous witnesses at the trial. He hurriedly arrived to the courtroom late today to hear the decision and told me he was in tears. A significant win for the Justice Department thanks to Nora. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.